So, about uh, 12 months ago, a year and a half ago, uh, I ordered a new electric skateboard on Indiegogo. Uh, it was meant to come last summer, and nothing showed up. Then we were all hoping it was going to come before Christmas. Still didn't come, and now it's January the next year, and finally it's here. Now, what's interesting about this, uh, I have a lot of electric skateboards. I have pretty much every... Um, version of, a, of a, an electric scooter or skateboard that's ever come out, I, I have. But what's unique about this one is this one has uh, four motors on it. So the most powerful electric skateboards, the boosted boards, uh, uh, the X skates, all have either just one or two motors on the, on the rear of the skateboard. This is the first skateboard uh, to be made with four motors on it. So uh, it's got true four-wheel drive. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's see what we've got inside the box. It's meant to be made with uh, aluminium and carbon fiber. It slides off like this. And uh, I did notice something. Oh yes, yeah, it says here. Extra charger and backpack. Now, I think that's a consolation prize for us poor uh, Indiegogo customers who waited for, uh, for so long that uh, they tried to appease us by giving us uh, extra accessories. So, let's see what the accessories are like as well. So, there's the board. So it looks pretty nice. Uh, I like the look. It's uh, it's aluminium. The whole body is aluminium, and then this is carbon fiber, and wedged into the middle of both metal plates uh, are, are lithium-ion batteries. Uh, this is meant to be the most powerful electric skateboard ever made. It's uh, it's meant to be up to go up the steepest hills uh, in San Francisco and, uh, and hit speeds I think 23, 24 miles an hour I think that's what they said so, uh, so there's the board uh, this is also the first board that this company this is made by Acton uh, that they've come out with, with suspension I think what they're trying to do is compete with the suspension that's on the boosted board the boosted board is a, uh, a bamboo board and it's naturally sprung uh, because the board's made out of a, a flexible bamboo. Well this board is aluminium and carbon fiber so it doesn't flex. So what they've done is they've added uh, kind of like a leaf spring metal suspension to uh, each truck uh, and that's meant to make the ride smoother at, at higher speeds and, uh, and riding around the city. So there's the board. What else do we have in the box? Uh, somewhere in here, uh, here's, here's the remote control. Now, this is interesting. Th this, this was originally designed uh, in this shape uh, to click into the front of the, the device. I'm not quite sure what the front is actually. Uh, I think that's the front. It was meant to click into the front so you could, you could transport it and that the remote would be kind of like held in place safely. Uh, they didn't do that. Uh, this remote, it, it's, it's plastic. It doesn't feel terribly expensive. I also, I like the old remotes that had a proper trigger that you could squeeze. This just has a, uh, a wheel that goes in, in each direction. But it feels nice in the hand, but it also doesn't feel particularly premium. Uh, we've got two batteries in here. We'll pop them in. Uh, that's another thing that I'm a little disappointed about. Most modern remotes, and I, th I, th I think, uh, yeah, definitely the, most devices these days are all charged with uh, internal uh, rechargeable batteries that are charged with a USB charger. And uh, this just uses two AAA cells. So I guess that's good when you're out and about. You can just carry an extra like, couple of batteries with you and you don't need to worry about recharging your remote. Uh, but uh, it also seems a little old-fashioned to use batteries these days in, in a device. So, uh, let's see. So, there's the 
on off button. Uh, let's just see what else is in the in the box. So there are two boxes here, identical. So I think these are the two two charges. But that, that which is a pretty strange thing to to give two charges. They're both uh, multi voltage, so they'll work in Europe and America, which is nice. And they're not too big, so I can pop that in, in my, my backpack and, and take that with me when I'm riding. That's quite nice. It's about half the size of the original uh, X-Gate uh, chargers. Uh, here's the tiny instruction manual. I think it's three pages. And, uh, and here's a backpack. I, I think this is really, really just a gift. Uh, I don't think it's a proper accessory for this skateboard because uh, there are two straps. In theory, you could put a skateboard on this backpack, but this is uh, not a light skateboard. Ugh. This uh, this is hefty. I think it's about 17 pounds, uh, and uh, the car I don't think that that backpack could handle the weight of this. Or to carry it around on your back would would really be an, an awkward thing. The the advantage of, of that though is riding a, a a 17 pound skateboard, it will feel nice to uh, uh, under your feet. It's nice to have a, a solid heavy device. I have, I have another Blink skateboard, the, the Blink Light, that's uh, incredibly light and it feels a bit squirrely and uh, it doesn't have the, uh, the stability of a, a proper longboard that, uh, that this looks like it might have. So I'm going to try and switch this thing on. There's nothing else in the, in the, in the box comes with it. So let's uh, switch around and see what we've got going on here. Uh, so like all other act Acton boards, uh, the power button is dead center, kind of in the, in the middle of the board on the bottom. And, uh, and that's nice. So it's got the same uh, horizontal uh, lighting panels on, on the sides of the boards. There's a brake light on the back and headlights on the front. Uh, and the tires, they're interesting. The tires, they, uh, they're kind of uh, rough. Uh, uh, some kind of uh, rough polymer plastic. Uh, usually the skateboard uh, wheels are kind of uh, harder and, uh, and uh, smoother. Uh, let's see if the remote works. So if I turn it over, Remote is on. So this will be interesting. This will be the first board where, let me see, it's not talking. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, for the first time we have a board where all four wheels are powered. Usually you'd maybe just see one or two wheels on the rear of the board, but now we have all four wheels being powered. Uh, this remote does uh, forward and reverse motion, and then these are the brakes as well. And it doesn't seem terribly fast, but uh, I assume that might be a, a software thing when you're uh, in, in the, the app for the board, it, it should go up to a, a nice fast acceleration speed. So uh, so that's the board. I'm pretty impressed by how it, what it looks like, and uh, we'll see how much power it has uh, when I get to ride it, uh, which will be the next video. Uh, and that's it. So here's the remote control. And uh, that's it for the unboxing of the Acton Blink Quattro.